We're the Cola Guys, I'm George. And I'm David. Today we're doing a bash on Zillow. We're talking a little bit about how we don't think that technology will eliminate the good realtor, um, but we're not saying it won't eliminate the bad one, and we're not gonna complain if it does. So let's get this thing started without a guest. It's just the two of us today. The Cola Guys isn't your average real estate podcast. Our mission is to give buyers and sellers the power of knowledge through their real estate transactions. We do this by helping first-time homebuyers realize that there are more expenses that come with owning a home than just the loan. We also understand there are many times move-up buyers and sellers have forgotten the process because it's been so long since their last real estate transaction. We make the downsizing easy. Once you get into the habit of working with us, the process becomes so smooth you won't mind to move. We are also excited to share with you what all the Midlands has to offer. Yep, that's right. So technology just plays such a central role in our lives these days and there are good uses of it and there are some attempts at utilizing it for purposes such as buying and selling real estate that just are making our lives difficult, is it not? Oh, definitely. So we're going to start <laughs> off with our, our Zillow bash. Um, and so we have like seven points and it'll probably be 10 because we can't keep track, but we're going to go with that. <laughs> so our yeah. first point is um, data privacy. So Zillow collects a lot of your data. And as we all know, um, when you sign up for any website nowadays, you get bombarded with calls, emails. Um, even ours. I mean, and we've even got it. You come, yes. you come to findcolumbiaareahomes.com and mm -hmm. you sign up. You or I are going to call you them if they get assigned to us, Correct. right? Yes. But a little bit of the difference is, is when you sign up for our website, you know what you're signing up for. You know um, what to expect. You're going to get a call from an exit Palmetto person. Yeah. When you sign up on Zillow and you start looking at houses, you're going to get calls from the agents whose listings are on Zillow that they're paying for leads. You're going to get calls from all over the place. Yeah. Um, and so let's let, so let's back up and talk about mm -hmm. that a little bit, right? Because there are what, seven million real estate transactions that happen annually or so in the US right now, anywhere from six and a half to seven and a half, it's, you know, it's swinging. Mm -hmm. And you and I get calls weekly from the local Zillow reps, from the local realtor.com reps. We wanna sell you all the leads in the area, right? Yeah. And then they start bragging about the fact that they sell 95 million or 100 million or 100, that Dalvin's over there shaking his head at, you know, leads mm -hmm. every year. Okay, we'll do the math. Seven divided into 100, 100 yeah, right? 100. How many times have these sites resold your name and mm -hmm. your phone number and your address and your email address to multiple people to people in our industry, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to go on the record and say at New Horizons, we don't buy data from realtor.com. We don't buy your leads from Zillow.com. I'm not going to put my money there because, you know, I've got better things to do for my current clients, our current clients, mm -hmm. than chase people who, you know, wanted to see why their neighbor's house was for sale, even if it's still for sale. <laughs> yes. So if you, if you want um, help, it's better to just go to the direct website of the realtor who you right. plan on using. We hope you use us, but if not, we still want to give you the information. Uh, that way you know. But our second little bash I say we can jump into now is market analysis. So you see, you, you have your home and you see the market, anal market analysis report on it and it's saying your home's worth $450,000. Well, how accurate do you think that that information is and and what's different about when we look at the value of a home uh, compared to when Zillow does? All right, so I'm gonna back up and kind of get academic on this a little bit because I mean, you know my educational background. I've, you know, I've got a PhD. I've had a lot of statistical analysis training and I can tell you the margin of error on that type of analysis is crap. You know, it's it's like throwing a dart at the dartboard over there. It, it, it's a guess at best because Zillow is doing what big corporations do now, and they go out and they grab a lot of old data, right? And they start doing meta analysis on all of this old data. And you know, go out and Google Zillow algorithm. 
And what you're going to see are story after story after story of just this algorithm is not working because the data it's looking at, one, is old, mm -hmm. two, it can still be inaccurate, and three, it does not take in the context of the local market whatsoever in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. The large market that you and I are interacting with daily mm -hmm. to know what the value of a home is. Sure, and Zillow is not here, so they they aren't local, and they aren't taking into the to what our geographic area has to offer and the outside factors that that we really have to present, such as like SEC football yeah. and different things like that. But going along with what you said about outdated um, info on Zillow, um, I'd say something that we sent a client we sent our clients direct um home, the homes directly from the mls system to them and the one time one of our clients um he looked at the address on the home that we had sent him from the mls system and it it comes with all the pictures and, and everything so he could have clicked on that but what he ended up deciding to do was he went to zillow and he typed in the home address now, the downfall of that was Zillow hadn't updated that the home was for sale. It hadn't updated the pictures and it hadn't up done any of the updates. So he's looking at a house that was built in 2008 and wondering why everything in there looks 2008 after we had told him a full renovation had been done. So th that's just a little bit of the problem we've been running into with Zillow's information being outdated and why we make sure to send you stuff directly from the MLS system. Yeah, and I think it helps to explain, like, when a house goes on the market, a realtor, like you or I, hopefully a realtor, someone who is part of the National Association of Realtors, has gone out, they've sat down with a client, they've signed a contract and agreement to put that house on the market, we've taken them through the process of getting it listed, getting accurate pictures taken. Um, of the home and we put that into our local MLS system, right? And so that really is the authoritative source of what is and is not for sale in the local market. Big organiz big 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 data, big real estate tech data like Zillow and Realtor are laggingly pulling that data out of their system. And so how often they do that, you know, is unknown to us because there's stuff that will show that it's still for sale and it's been off the market for a month here. Um, and so, you know, again, if you want to know what is for sale, you really need to find somebody local, mm -hmm. get into the local MLS system, you know, either through our website or something else like that to understand what is for sale, <laughs> what the current pictures are, because we're going to make sure they're accurate, number one. And, you know, it, it throws such a monkey wrench into the process because you and I field phone calls every once in a while. Hey, is this house on the market and we have to break the bad news to them? No, I'm sorry, but it's been gone for two weeks. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. I got some questions. On okay. The jet no, you can jump in. You said a point thing, George, that Zillow is not local. Mm -hmm. My question is, where is it? Where is the headquarters of Zillow? Why? Are they a U.S. market or is it international? I mean, so they're trying to take a standard algorithm, right, and apply it across the board to everybody. And, you know, there are 50 states in this country, and within every state there are how many, you know, within, we've got nine MLS markets in the state of South Carolina, just ourselves. And so, I mean, there's no way you can tweak that algorithm that many times to make it as hyper accurate as what they think it should be. I mean, they're, it's like, you know, trying to take, you know, one, you know, it's like trying to make blue jeans for somebody, right? And you've got one pattern and you expect it to fit everybody. Well, what fits me is not gonna fit him, is not gonna fit you. We're all different, right? And, and so, it's the same concept. That Zillow, Zillow algorithm is not always, well, I'll just say it's not a good barometer for what your house is worth or what the current market conditions are or what's currently for sale. Yeah, you know, in a, in a normal market, when things are taking anywhere from four to six months to sell, it's going to be accurate because things are sitting longer. But in this crazy seller's market that we've had for the last two years where 
things literally can be on the market for two hours or less, it's not going to be your best bet. I mean, you need to call George and I if you're looking for a home right now and say, I need a home, what's for sale? Because we need to go look today. And another thing that we're able to do is we're able to find homes that haven't even been listed right. out. Right now, the way the market is, you're missing out if you're not finding about out about these homes and getting your offer in before it even comes to market. Right. Um, you're just, you're missing the boat and you're, you're leaving it way too much up to the technology to decide what house you're gonna get and not being able to see it. But another thing that we think is important is looking at photos of the houses um, that you're interested in is great, especially if you're from out of state. Yep. But still, we think it's really important that we go to the house if you're out of state or else you come to the house. But we're happy to do like a FaceTime, a Zoom, any, any type of video tour, because you don't know what the house is like until you get to the house. Um, in one of our past episodes, we talked with Brian, who's the home inspector, yeah. and he talked about renovations. And all these renovations look great on photos because that's all you're seeing. You're seeing the best of the house because they want it to sell. But we're going to get into the roots of the house when we're there um, on FaceTime with you because our job yeah. isn't to sell you on a home. Our job is to find the perfect home for you and to find the one that fits and, and to let you decide which home you want and what you want. Yeah, and, and George and I show up, we go. We show up ready to go to work, right? Mm -hmm. You've seen me crawl under houses. We go up in the attics. Well, sometimes we go up I don't, in the I don't go into the <laughs> attic. I don't, still scared of heights. <laughs> so, but I mean, where a lot of real, realtors yes. will mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. walk we'll through the We'll go to those extreme lengths. Not go to those extreme lengths. Mm -hmm. I've been a homeowner before. I know you've worked a lot around your house and home and you know done things and so we understand that it's not just the lipstick that makes the house look mm -hmm. good we you know we if we're going to show somebody a house with a video tour we're going to go to the links that we need to to get them comfortable with Correct. to put an offer mm -hmm. in at least to get you know get them time to get down here and then get a guy like Brian out to go in and do the inspection right. process but yeah. so Zillow had opened uh, where they were doing a lot of home buying and they were investing in homes. Yes. And uh, they that, ended up losing, I don't know if you know how much money, but I'll take a stab. I think they lost over $300 million yes. on their investments. So something to think about is you're trusting a company who just lost $300 million on their investment homes yep. to tell you how much your home is worth. Yeah. Well, I mean, so they're following companies like Open Door, Redfin, and a couple others out there that are these hyper technology based real estate companies, you know, with a model of, you know, we're just going to hook you up with somebody in the local market and they're going to run through and you're going to find the perfect house, boom, boom, boom. It doesn't work like that. And they're using these algorithms as well to kind of tell you how to buy and what to buy. And Zillow took that and applied that to their own investment group, yeah. trying to buy homes and flip homes, and they they lost their pants bad. Um, and it just you know it really exposed their algorithm to be what it is, which is a a real guess, mm -hmm. not what is true. Because you and I know people that are in the home flipping business. It's a serious game. There is money to be made, yes, but there is money to be lost so fast. Yes. If you get into a situation where, you know, the house just can't be repaired because it's got too much to do. Um, I mean, and, and because again, that algorithm doesn't get down into the crawl space and look yeah. to find like what Brian said, is there a golf tee in the hole in the bike, you know, plug in the leak that was downstairs. I mean, it's just, it's, it, that has to go. And really, too, I mean, how much, how much are you really going to trust a real estate agent that calls you and said, hey, you were looking on Zillow for a home, mm -hmm. right? How'd, how'd you get my number? How'd you, get, you, how'd you get my number? How are you going to call? Number one, you know, I, I don't know if we said this earlier, but we don't sell your data, period. You register on our website, it stays with George and I, period. The other thing is, you know, just, you know, we're trying, you know, we'll go back to our first show we did with Karen and we talked like what we're up to. Our goal is to build a, re a relationship with you. 
-hmm. we want to work with you, you know, for as long as you're going to be in the real estate market. And we want you to be able to look at us confidently and say, hey, I'm going to send you to my neighbor down the road. Mm -hmm. These are people, you know, that are just in it to get the quick sell. And that's not us and that's not what we do. And I guess I don't like what that does to the real estate profession in general as a look. Right? It doesn't sound very professional if all the people are doing is to speed dial cold calls off data that they've bought, you know, trying to get you to sell your home. My uncle's mom got a home over in Lexington that she just, you know, it, it's going to go hot whenever she decides to sell it. But she's like, I get five calls a week, cold calls. People tell me to sell my house. And I can't tell them. That, and she goes, I keep telling them, one guy again and again and again, I am not selling. So, yeah, I mean, we're not, you know, the technology from that sense is not a great thing in the real estate market because, but as the consumer of these sites, if you're going there and you're registering, you're feeding the beast. I mean, you you are, you know, and I know everybody's interested in what's for sale and it's nice to go look and that kind of thing, but just beware of what you're triggering when you mm-hmm. do that. So to wrap it up, I'd say just our main points are data privacy, Yep. how accurate really is the market analysis. Zillow doesn't have the MLS access, so are they really local? Outdated listing info, is the square footage really correct? Um, inaccurate um, with uh, whether it's listing prices or unupdated photos, just remember real estate is local and their home buying division did lose $300 million. Right, so if you wanna really know what's going on, if you really wanna be taken care of, you need to find a realtor who's hyper invested in the local market, knows the local market, and wants to build a relationship with you, not just help you do that transaction.